Hi guys. Just want to show me uh, set up I got going on here. I got this uh, Tesla transformer set up as a with a uh, with a feedback oscillator to switch the primary. Primary on this is ten tones. Um, this is the feedback setup. What I've got is around. Uh, Two turn, parallel turns of wire on top of the tuning coil, which has a little core inside it. So it's pretty tight coupling. On the uh, receiver, on on, the, on on this trans transmitter type setup here, this would be the secondary and the primary. And this is a little tuning coil with the uh, feedback um, windings wound over top. And so the, uh, the actual feedback circuit itself is fairly complicated. It's a bit more complicated than what, what is there. It actually uses a, uh, a transistor which is driven by the, by the capacitor in series with the base and uh, it also uses a buffer, a MOSFET driver and a MOSFET anyway um, you can see over there I've got the probe set up just with, with uh, a piece of foil and stand back over there just so I can see that it's on to get the signal um, look at the frequency measurement set on the yellow trace. So I'll quickly connect the uh, yellow trace to the uh, drain of the MOSFET. I'll show that waveform there. Away from draining the MOSFET. I'll just trust this a little bit. This is the input voltage and current. Yeah. That's 300 milliamps. That 12 volts. Looks like the battery's about to go dead on me. You can see the milliamp meter. Goes up there, just working inductively. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just take that connection off of that. Put the top over there. And um, I just want to look back so I can see that signal there. The receivers. wired like this. There's two receivers, one has six LEDs with one K resistance and the other has only two LEDs with two K resistance. Um, so come over here. The first one it's already the LEDs already gone. I'll just turn it a little bit. Right. 
He can't really look straight at it because it's just too damn bright and it can all damage the camera. So yes. This is the one, this is identical, this receiver to the one that's over there and just the capacitance and the um, primary Green coil there as well. You can see that's pretty bright. We've got this other one over here. It's got six LEDs on it. And it dries up pretty good too. Um, It's a completely different receiver, that type of receiver, that one, it's um, two identical coils and with this wire here, I connect, with this wire here, I connect this to ground, for um, adjusting the frequency of the secondary. Those um, sliding those up, those sliding those up, those are pretty bright. I'll come back over here. actually drop a little bit. Table seen, so I don't know what you do here. You can see it's still bright there. Brightness. different things we do if we use the uh, little neon here Show up so good. 
have to receive us because the voltage is being held down by the loads. You take the loads off that light right up. A little bit of tuning. You can usually Right up a tube. Take me a little tool here. You can see that on the neon lines right up at the top of the secondary. All the way up that thing. This receiver for some reason works particularly well. Works really quite well. Sliding the neon better, of course, is because of all the the six LEDs. The, the light voltage is double what this light voltage is here. So, that's one of the reasons why. Touch it before I like the secondary. AC at the uh, terminals. Very good camera, shorty camera work. Yeah, 
try one more thing as the frequency. We're connecting again, again to the uh, drying. I'm going to be getting a better drawing. I keep changing the circuit so much there's not really any point in making a particular drawing yet. Okay, thanks for watching. The 12 volt 